corticosteroids are prescribed for a variety of conditions ranging from asthma to a rash. But this common drug can be risky even when used for a short period of time, doctors say. According to a team from Tangang Memorial Hospital and the National Health Research Institutes, short-term use elevates the risk of gastro and intestinal bleeding, sepsis and even heart failure. Their study was based on the medical records of patients who were administered the drug for no more than 14 days. Prolonged corticosteroid use is known to produce side effects like weight gain at the back of the neck or in the face. But now doctors find that even short-term use can cause problems. The National Health Research Institute and Changgung Memorial Hospital studied the medicine's effects on people aged 20 to 64. They found that those given oral steroids for up to 14 days at a time were 1.8 times more likely to develop gastrointestinal bleeding compared to the average person. They were also 2.0 times more likely to suffer heart failure within one month. Short-term steroid use is actually relatively safe, but it's not completely safe as was thought in the past. After using them, you have to watch out for some risks. One month after use, your risk of developing gastrointestinal bleeding, sepsis and heart failure is 1.8 to 2.4 times higher. Researchers found that risks were higher even if the patient did not have a history of chronic illness. In Taiwan, around 25 percent of the population has at one point been prescribed corticosteroids. About 85 percent of them did not have a chronic illness. There are 4.01 million Taiwanese adults who have, at some point, taken corticosteroids for a short time. That's one quarter of the population that's received this treatment. The most common side effects include skin disorders and respiratory tract infections. The study has been published in the international journal Annals of Internal Medicine. Experts say the findings are no cause for panic. Patients who experience side effects from steroid use should not stop use on their own, but should seek medical advice instead.